Hi, how are you guys doing today? So I'm the today seeking. I forgot about that. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite lipsticks, lipsticks that won't betray you. So a couple of videos back, I filmed about liquid lipsticks that won't betray you. So this is like a lipstick version of that because a lot of you guys requested for the same. And if you're like, oh, is this a Saturday? Oh, yeah. No, it's a Tuesday. I couldn't film anything last week. My health was not doing very well. Like. I was just not feeling very well to film a video so I decided to sit down and film it on a Monday, edit it and upload it on a Tuesday. So and yeah, summer's officially kicked in so after a while you're not going to be seeing me leave my hair like this now. I'm going to be in a high pony. I'm going to be a high pony DP. So let's get started. I have some, where's my box? Okay. Let's get started. I have some lipsticks I want to talk to you guys about. So let's start with affordable lipsticks. The first one I'm going to be talking about is the Blue Heaven Non-Transfer Lipstick. This one is in the shade Truffle Brown. I also have the shade Dark Chocolate. But I cannot find these lipsticks anywhere except for Cups and Lashes website because I'm thinking that they've been discontinued. So while there are some lipsticks remaining i would suggest you guys to pick this one up because it's very long wearing very pigmented looks beautiful on the lips and very affordable price tag on this so this is the shade truffle brown which is more like an orange toned shade they don't lack pigmentation at all they can be slightly drying depending on how your lips are like if they are really flaky i think most lipsticks would look really bad but this one is a gem a gem and I didn't know why they had to stop making that. Like, what's up with these people, you know? Like, really, I want to have a conversation with these people. Like, what is running in your head? Why did you have to stop something that is really nice as opposed to all your other products? And then the next one I'm going to be talking about is the Swiss Beauty Non-Transfer Waterproof Lipstick. So I have this in a couple of shades. The one I have on my lips right now is the shade Mauve Taupe beautiful shade just look at that it's like your perfect nude shade you don't really have to wear makeup and especially if you're of a deeper skin tone medium skin tone deeper skin tones can pull this one off if you are of a lighter skin tone than i am this is not a nude shade by any means but a beautiful shade who would refuse a shade like this it's just enough we know you have a bike stop it please stop it please please neighbor stop it but who would refuse a lipstick like this i would say nobody nobody would refuse a lipstick like this it's so long wearing i wore this in the morning and the time right now like i mentioned is about seven o'clock and it's beautiful it's lasting so well not drying my lips out um i've eaten with this i've had something to drink with this and it's not budging at all and I just had to reapply it a little bit because I talk so much that it fades away a little bit from the center. I mean like not fade away as such like you know no like your lipstick gets worn out after a while that line. So that's how it is. It doesn't even transfer as much. This this light transfer even happens because I've reapplied it. Like they mentioned non-transfer waterproof lipstick. This it's, it's exactly like that. It can be a little bit sticky on the lips. Nothing unbearable. Nothing uncomfortable nice shade selection and if you are on a budget and you're looking for good lipstick recommendations that one yeah pick it up pick it up before they discontinue it the next one i have is the wet and wild mega last lipstick and i think this one uh, you don't really get that many shades anymore or uh, Something like that, but they've changed the packaging. And this lipstick is super long wearing, you guys. Mega last. So they last for a mega amount of time. They last for a really long time and they're really nice on the lips, not very drying. Like that creamy finish on your lips and so comfortable to wear throughout the day. The shade range is amazing. Most of the MAC lipstick dupes are available in this range and I have this one in the shade Spiked with Rum, but I do have a couple of other shades as well, which you'll be seeing in the next couple of videos. So, yeah. The next one I have is from Faces Canada, and this one is their Weightless Matte Finish Lipstick. And I have this one in the shade Forsake Beauty again. I have a couple of shades. I'm not talking to you guys about a shade in particular, but the range of lipsticks. And this one uh, retails for 299 rupees, but 
you can get it for discount most of the times or even buy one get one i love this shade it's beautiful it'll again go really well with this outfit and um it's a kind of unique shade actually very difficult to dupe this shade i'm not able to dupe this this doesn't go along with any other shade in my lipstick collection sort of a very different shade if you are that lipstick junkie who's looking for some different shades for sake beauty is your jam these are pretty uh, matte like creamy matte on the lips can be drying like emphasize texture like if you have flakiness sort of cracks it will ex exaggerate it but if you take care of that it's a really nice formula for the price and i really like it and it's very comfortable as well i can take most drying formulas and for me this is just absolutely like nothing it's like nothing and then the next one I'm going to be talking about is the Ho oh So Famous Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick. This one is in the shade Nude Nuance and for some reason this is the lipstick I have been reaching out for the most every time. I'm actually someone who wear bright shades, red shades, pink shades and I'm not the one to wear subtle nude shades outside but this one pulls off really well without makeup and I don't know why I'm talking so much about the shade because this is about the formula. Very comfortable on the lips, not so drying. Again, if you have any flakiness on your lips, this will like magnify it because it's very creamy on your lips. But if you take care of that, this will be your best friend. And uh, even if it smudges, it's very easy to fix it. I wear this underneath mask most of the time and it does bleed and everything, but I can always tackle that. So if you are looking for a budget friendly, creamy matte, amazing lipstick, this is your go. And then the Lakme 925 Primer Plus Matte Lipstick. I have this one in just one shade and I know you guys know what the shade name is. Rosy Sunday. That's the only shade I have. I've always wanted to buy other shades but looking at my lipstick collection, I don't, I don't want to buy any more shades. I don't, I don't want to hold lip lipsticks. One of my most worn shades as well and a beautiful formula. Looks really nice on the lips. Very, very long wearing. Primer claim I think is absolutely true because it stays on your lips for a really long time without drying them out and uh, very comfortable to wear on a daily basis you can't wear very drying lipsticks on a daily basis because they take a toll on your lips and that's when uh, the Lakme lipstick the Maybelline lipstick comes into play and then something we have is from Nykaa this is the ultra matte lipsticks in the shade uh, Diana I have Mona Elsa I have Cleopatra but again I stopped buying too many of the same uh, lipstick bullets because I know how the formula is and I just don't want to keep buying the same thing if you let me buy i'll buy the entire like, lipstick collection that's present on ica but i don't want to do that so i'm just stopping with this again a uh, pretty matte lipstick so if you are not a matte lipstick lover you will not like this it can be slightly drying as well but very pigmented very long wearing and a like too matte finish on the lips and i really like the shade range and for some reason i'm not very intrigued with buying nika products anymore and that's the reason i've actually stopped buying nika products until unless it's like highly requested by you guys or if i needed to dupe it with something else that's the only time do i resort to buying anything from nika but other than that i think i'm happy with everything that i already have and this is one of their best collection i feel like the ultra matte lipsticks and of course the lip crayon in the shade jade rose is amazing as well i forgot to include it in this but the formula of that is pretty good it is again pretty matte and drying so keep that in mind exfoliate apply good lip balm and you'll be good to go with that as well and then um the faces of primer plus matte lip crayon one amazing amazing lipstick formula very very long wearing Beautiful pigmentation, amazing shade, shade selection, shade selection, I, that's what I was going to say. Um, amazing shade selection and uh, really pigmented on the lips. Did I mention that already? Maybe I did. I really like the comfort level this provides and uh, I have a couple of shades. I have a shade Magnetic which is my favorite. I have a shade Tea Rose. I have a shade Natural Cocoa. So many other shades. I have swatched this on my Instagram. I will just leave it in the description box below in case you want to check it out. But um, if you are sleeping on this and you're like, um, I don't know about that. What's that? No, it's amazing. Same goes with the Sugar Mattis Hair Lip Crayon. Of course, the uh, Faces Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Midnight Rose. That's the only... Uh, lip crayon from that range that i own and again a really nice formula very pigmented for some reason i'm not able to find it because everything 
like I mentioned in a previous video, all my makeup is in boxes. And I'm not able to find that, but that is again very pigmented and beautiful red shade. If you wanted to try it out again, can be slightly more drying. Just keep that in mind. And then Sugar Mattis Hell Lip Crayons, really nice, glides on your lips, stays for a decent amount of time. And very good shade selections, pigmented as well and not very drying. So this is something that again is very comfortable. So if you are someone, like sometimes the lipstick uh, bullet shapes are different, right? Like this one is the Faces Canada lipstick, let me just show it to you guys. It's different, right? Like you cannot get that precise line around your lips, but with a lip crayon, it's always easy. And this is a really nice formula for you guys to try out. And something from uh, Sugar, which caught my attention is this matte attack transfer proof lipstick i have this in just one shade called tan helen but this formula is like a liquid lipstick in a lipstick form very long wearing matte pigmented lipsticks shade selection again is beautiful you can try out so many different shades i always had my eyes on the shade grand berries but um you know what i'm gonna say right like i don't i don't want to i don't want to keep collecting lipsticks but this formula is too die for for me like i like it i like that it's mad i like that it stays in place i like that it's very long wearing so if you are looking for that i would highly suggest you guys try this one out i get comments like you know i have to recommend lipsticks that are pigmented very long wearing but not as drying affordable it's like i if i had like a manufacturing unit or if i was a brand i'd probably take in your suggestions and come up with lipsticks like that but um with certain perks come certain cons as well right everything cannot be available in one product so this in tan helen is very long wearing but can be slightly drying as well uh, if you have very dry lips, you will not like this uh, straight up. Something uh, from Sugar that is a little bit more comfortable is this one. This is the newest launch. This is the Sugar X Wonder Woman collection. And this is a creamy matte lipstick. This one is in the shade Crime Fighter. I also have another shade. I have a couple of shades because I got this in uh, PR, but the shade Claiborne. All of these are really nice. This one, even if you have like very dry lips, even though it's like a creamy matte finish, it wouldn't emphasize it all the more. It's very lightweight on the lips. You feel like you have nothing on your lips and it's very comfortable. Ease of free application is available with these lipsticks. It's not like you have to sit and scrub your lips in some random washroom mirror, random stinky washroom just to take off that mess that your lipstick has created. It's not like that. It just, you can just fix it with your fingers, uh, normal tissue paper, anything would work. So really nice formula. You guys should check this one out. Uh, these are priced at 599 rupees. I mentioned the wrong price in the sugar review video. It was I mentioned it as 799. No, but it's 599. And then the Key Beauty uh, lip crayon. This one is in the shade After Party. This is not as pigmented as like the Sugar Matte Attack Transfer Proof Lipstick or the Faces lip crayons, the Primer Plus Matte lip crayons, or even the Matte lip crayon for that matter. But this uh, is more comfortable on the lips and they have a decent wear time. They have good shade range if you want to select from. But this was the only thing that caught my attention. I don't think I will be buying anything from uh, K-Beauty for a while now because again, I'm not very interested in the products. Sometimes, you know, some shades or some products just call your name. It's not doing it for me and until then I'll just hold off any makeup purchases. The next one I'm going to be talking about is the Faces Canada Jewel Cut Lipstick. I love the packaging of this, looks so luxe. And this one is in the shade Russian Maroon, one of my favorite red shades. So beautiful, looks really nice on so many different skin tones. And I like the formula of this. This has sort of like that powdery matte texture but not very drying. If you're um, familiar with the MAC powder matte lipsticks, it's very similar to that. You get really good shade options and Faces Canada, you should always buy it on buy one get one because they always have that offer and I think that's the right time to pick up whatever shades you want. Such an amazing, amazing, amazing formula. I feel like they always nail it with their lip products and this one is no exception. It's just beautiful. And then the last one, I know you guys were waiting for this. This is a color bar. Um, sinful matte lipsticks i have this one in the shade exposed i also have the shade sultry which is my favorite pink shade love the formula of this first of all the packaging itself will capture you and it just looks really nice and i feel like that is across their newer ranges the packaging just looks so good and the bullet itself again even better than a matte lipstick it just looks so beautiful and has like that magnetic cap and this is what the texture of the lipstick looks like really nice 
um, so many different shade ranges and this one does bleed like it's a normal lipstick it's a creamy matte lipstick and if you have a mask on and then you talk and everything it will bleed but again fixing it is a lot more easier love this formula beautiful i'm also planning a, a video where i mention uh, the right time to pick up a product like the right prices the right discounts and i think you guys will be interested in it. If you are, let me know. If you're not, let me know that too. And then the last ones I have are MAC lipsticks. Um, I think these are the only lips expensive. I have the Pat McGrath lipstick and the Lisa Eldridge. But other than that, these are the only expensive lipsticks that I own. And um, oh yeah, I forgot the Huda Beauty Powder Bullet lipstick. Yes. So uh, this one is the shade Sin. This is a matte finish. So this is not like your super matte finish like the MAC Ruby Woo or Relentlessly, right? It's not the retro matte finish. It is sort of like a matte. What am I trying to say? It's a matte finish, but it has a slight amount of sheen to it and also a slightly more amount of comfort compared to those uh, lipsticks, like the retro matte lipsticks. And the shade in Sin is beautiful. If you have like an off white outfit this would look beautiful with that and i really like this formula i do really like ruby woo but sometimes i do retest the formula of that like they even get a little bit harder in the tube as well relentlessly red is so bad to apply and then uh, the satin finish in the shade rebel very nice very comfortable glides on the lips and remains comfortable on the lips so if you are someone who detests mac formula because you just tried out ruby woo and you're like okay I hate this. I think all the lipsticks are like this. You should try out the satin finish. It's a lot better, a lot more comfortable on the lips. And nice shade range as well. <clears throat> and then they and then their powder kiss lipstick. I have this one in the shade Burning Love. Beautiful shade. Amazing formula as well. Again, a powder matte finish, not very drying on the lips, but quite comfortable. Not so super pigmented but pigmented and I really like this one as well okay my neck my leg is numb from sitting for so long so yeah those were all my favorite lipstick formulas uh, let me know what are your favorite lipsticks in the comment section down below maybe we will check it out in the future so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And see you guys in my next one. Bye.